हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज शांबवी होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो नाउ बेसिकली माय क्वेश्चन आर सेज टू मी आई नीड टू राइट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू चेक वेदर अ स्पेसिफाइड वैल्यू इज कंटेंट इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ वैल्यूज ओके हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दैट व्हाट इज इट एक्चुअली आस्किंग मी टू डू हियर इट इज आस्किंग मी टू डू दैट आई नीड टू राइट आउट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू चेक दैट अ स्पेसिफाइड वैल्यू is contained in a group of values or not so in that case first of all what i need to do is that i need to define a group of values right okay after that i need to check that whether i, I just write let's say i just write out the value as 3 okay i need to check that whether that 3 3 values specified that value is present in the group of values which i have defined or not right this is the whole idea regarding this program that we need to write out here Okay, I need to write out a Python program to check whether a specified value is contained in a group of values. Right now, for this, basically, what we can do here is that we can simply first of all apply a condition. Uh, sorry, apply a function. We can just make out a function for applying out this thing. Then what I can just do here is that I could simply check out that I could simply apply the for loop, and from that. For loop, I can just compare the value and print that value if it is present. Right? Is the whole idea that we can actually do for this particular program. Right? Um, let me do one thing. Let me go on to the one or first of all, and let me explain you the working of this program actually, and then basically it will be more clear to you. Fine. Okay. So let's say okay, this is orange color. Okay, I, I guess okay. Let me take some dark color. Um, right here. Okay, let's say I define out a function and that is div and let's say that that function is check. Okay, into the bracket let's say I'll be passing two parameters. Let's say first one is my num and second one is my number which I want to check. Let's say that is a. Okay, put out the colon. Come on to a new line. I'll be applying with for loop that for. Okay, this colon here goes here for. So my condition goes that for. Uh, okay, let's say here I would take for, for for value. Okay, so for value in num, for value in num, if a is equal equal to value, then in that case simply okay, in that I need to check true or false, right? Then in that case simply return me the answer as true. Okay, and if this is not the condition. Then after come out coming out of out of my for loop, return me the output that is false, right? And now I would just call out my function. So let's say I'll be calling out my function that is um, that is check. And into the bracket, let's say I just pass out a list here. Just one second. Okay. So okay, just one second. Control plus Z. I would just put out a bracket here, and let's say my list is um. One, three, nine, seven, and then five. Inside this only, I will be passing out my second argument. That is basically I need to, I need to pass out that number which I need to check out here. Let's say I need to check nine. Okay, I will close it out here. Fine. Now how it will run? First of all, it will go on to my check. Num is passed. A is actually passed. It will check for value in num. So values are these values which actually I have taken here, right? Let me take out the column. These are my values which I have actually taken here. One, three, nine, seven, five. For value in num, right? If a is equal equal to value, my a value is nine, right? So firstly, it will compare nine is equal equal to one. First, it will compare that thing. So is nine equal equal to one? No, it's not. So it will no, basically return here false. Okay, it will not return me. It will return false. Fine. After that, it will go on to three. Okay, is three is equal equal to nine? No, it will again return me false. Now it will check that. Uh, okay, not basically it will not return me anything. It will not return me false. Uh, it will not return me any output as well here because my whole list is not completed till now. Okay, now it will check for nine. So nine is equal equal to nine. Is this condition satisfies that is nine is equal equal to nine? Yes, this condition satisfies. So in that case, it is going to return me this output that is true. That yes, nine is a value which is present in this, and the return answer would be here as true. Fine. Now let's say instead of nine, if I just take out a number that is not present here, let's say I just took out a number that is ten. Then it will check for seven and it will check for five, and if it 
if it will not find out then it will come out of this loop and go to this condition and return false so in that case my answer that will be returned to me is false right so this is the whole working of this particular program that i have written out here this is the working of this question now let me just do one thing let me quickly write out the program for this so here go def my function name is check right and into that i'll be passing out my list let's say that is num and a variable let's say that is a num comma a right applying my for loop so for uh, for let's say for value okay so for value in num okay for value in num put out the colon come on to a new line and i would be writing that if a is equal equal to value right if a is equal equal to value then in that case return me the answer as true okay and if this is not case then return me the answer as false right come out of my function just call out my function so inside my print statement i'll be writing i'll be calling out my function that is check and inside that i'll be passing out a list that is let's say 1 comma 4 sorry 1 comma 3 comma 7 comma 2 comma 5 comma 6 right um right and the number which i want to find out let's say i want to find out the number that is 7 okay and here we go with the running of our program so yes see what it gave me as an answer it gave me as an answer that is true so this was what my ask in the question right that i need to write the python program to check that whether a specified value is contained in a group of values it didn't ask me to return that value or print out that value it simply asked me to check so when we just uh, check out something so in that case we need to return the true or false so here it great give me the answer as true now let's say i put on a value that is not present into this list now it will let's say i put out the value which is 10 which is not present into this list so what it will actually do it will return me the answer that is false because that particular number is not at all present inside my list right so i hope that i just made this thing very much clear to you that how you can write out this program for checking out that whether this particular number is present in this list or it is not present right so this is the idea how we can solve this type of questions as well right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care